Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to grant permission on table columns in MariaDB. As you can see from the title, uh, the permission can be uh, go to the level of a column. So we can uh, give permission such as select, insert, and update uh, to the column level. I'm going to connect with MariaDB with my user root. Uh, so let me connect and then we will experiment all those different uh, permissions on column level. Show databases. So we can see all the databases here and one of the databases is the tech brothers and then I'm gonna create a user but before I will show you tables so we'll say select star from employee so let's put this in example now you see that the employee table has the ID first name last name age and SSN SSN is a really important column we do not want the user to see that it is okay for our user to see first name and last name but we will also not uh, display age and SSN to them so we can give the permission to a user to see only the first name and last name also we can do the same kind of same thing if we would like them to update only uh, maybe age column and may, and we want to give them uh, the permission to insert the data but we don't want to in, want them to insert the social security so we can give them the permission uh, to insert only three values uh, first name last name and uh, actually four so id first name last name and age so the permission can be defined on the column level and uh, for uh, such as select insert and update uh, now let's create our user create user and I'm going to call that user TB at the rate local host identified by password. So the password is uh, 123. Now, the very first thing uh, we'll play with is a select permission. So we'll say grant select and then uh, we provide the list of the columns on which uh, we would like to provide select. I'm going to say F name, L name, so on and then provide the table name so in this one tech brothers dot employee and uh, to tb at the rate local host okay uh, cannot find any matching so where we made mistake the tb was created uh, fine uh, let's say first name last name Grant select on tech brothers employee to TB local host. I think so. We're doing right uh, where it says uh, cannot find any matching row in the user table. So uh, looks like the user is created, uh, but uh, ah okay see so right here the local host so that was wrong so that's where it should be local host i misspelled here i put h uh, s o t so that's wrong so let's go to the, that create this one again so these kind of things uh, it should give us an error but uh, it did uh, let it go local host okay now we should be fine and now we can provide a uh, the select permission and you see that that select permission is uh, provided I don't want to cut the video and make it a really perfect video I want you to show these errors can happen and how to sort them out now we exit from here come back with the TB and uh, let's uh, connect with the TB P dash P and the password one two three and now we can see show show t databases just to see the databases it should show us uh, two databases one tech brothers and one system database and i'm going to say user tech brothers and then uh, we will say select start from employee and if you notice that uh, uh, we have only provided permission on first name and last name and here i'm saying select asterisk so i'm selecting everything this query should give us an error it should say okay you have uh, only permission on some columns you don't have permission on everything so this is what it is select command denied to user tb for column id in the user employee so you notice that that was a, a very good error and uh, we can fix our query from there so we know that we have only permission on uh, first name and last name and you can see that it, is, it did display us those values 
okay so just remember that uh, maria db does not uh, resolve that uh, asterisk to only the permissions you have uh, you have to provide those columns uh, by yourself uh, if you want to see the permissions for your user you can always uh, say that uh, uh, grant sorry show grants and uh, that should give you enough information what type of permission you have so you can see you have grant select first name last name on this table employee okay great from here we can go back or uh, let's say we also uh, let me take from here go back to our root user and log in and uh, then we will provide uh, some more permission so uh, now I would like to provide uh, I'm going to tech brothers dot employee and what I would like to do I would like to provide a update on this value and that's age column so I'm gonna go ahead and say grant update and the age okay on tech brothers dot employee to TB I will just suggest that uh, always uh, provide the select as well because uh, if you do not have select on some of the columns how you are going to see if the value is a uh, uh, value is updated or what value it is uh, in the column so go ahead and uh, uh, grant update first and then we we'll go back here and instead of update I am going to go ahead and uh, also provide select permission on this one so we can see fine and uh, one more thing uh, I have other tables so I have a manager table here and uh, select asterisk from tech brothers dot manager so now this table we would like to provide insert statement uh, to the TB so it should uh, be able to insert the data and uh, I would like to go ahead and provide insert and select because uh, uh, if we are not able to select then how we are gonna see the data so that's one of the thing I'm gonna copy the same query here and uh, first of all provide uh, select sorry copy this paste it here go back here and uh, I'm going to say select provide select on this entire table to this uh, uh, user the user is uh, TB but the table is manager and uh, that's the first thing okay we got the select done now we are gonna give uh, permission to insert so maybe I will do one more trick here instead of uh, giving permission on uh, uh, all the columns for select uh, insert I can give uh, only on for ID so I will say grant insert and then on ID and first name so think about that what will happen with the last name if uh, it can accept uh, the uh, null values the, the, the default is going to be null and if uh, there is a default constraint you have added to it uh, whatever default value will look will, will be generated um, so in case uh, you do not have default constraint it's going to have have a null value so we are only given permission to insert in for ID and first name to this uh, user TB on manager table we are all good here and uh, let's exit from here now now we go and come back with our user TB and uh, here provide the password now show grants uh, to, to see what type of permissions we have so you can see that we have uh, different permissions here we have uh, select we have insert and uh, here we have select and then uh, uh, that's pretty much it we have so if I would like to go ahead and uh, insert uh, the value here let's uh, perform the update first and you notice that we have uh, only update permission on employee to this table on age column so if I will say select asterisk from employee okay now use tech brothers select asterisk from employee and uh, what I'm doing wrong here employee. oh it, uh, we didn't provide uh, the select permission on ID so that's the reason so what we can select we can only select uh, F name L name and uh, then we have age 
from employee and now we are going to go ahead and update this one so if i will say update employee and uh, and set uh, age is equal to 40 where f name is the raza so it should update the value okay the value should be updated we see that uh, the value is updated to 40 but same thing if i will go ahead and say update uh, let me see if i will update first name f name is equal to test what will happen it is not going to let us uh, update the value because uh, the tb user doesn't have a permission on f name to update it has only permission to update age column values so if you see that uh, it's in column f name in table uh, permission denied so that's how you can restrict the uh, permission on column level um, and the uh, next uh, problem what we are going to solve is going to check uh, so we say show grants it will show us the grant permission and we see that we on manager table we have uh, insert we can only insert in id and f name and uh, let me go ahead and say insert into uh, manager values id2 and manager will be let's say it's me and uh, i'm gonna just uh, okay so you have to provide the column list actually because uh, we have only permission on two of them id and f name and values and again value two and me that's what i'm going to put and uh, it's inserted so we have a permission to see the data so we can see that and uh, we were able to insert uh, the data in this table by using our user tb and uh, we inserted the value in id and first name and uh, the null value is inserted in last name as we didn't put any value we could not actually because we don't have permission now if i will try to insert uh, something like this uh, so if i will go and say insert into uh, id and last name i should get an error so uh, let's say i run it insert uh, Call command denied for user tb for column last name in the table so you see that we did experiment uh, you, how you can control the permission on column level so you can have select update and insert and uh, that's uh, that's really powerful uh, feature uh, in sql server we create the views and give permission on those views to user when we don't want to uh, give them permission to see all the columns from a table but in mariadb i noticed that this is a really cool feature where you can uh, uh, refine your permissions uh, on column level uh, i hope this video will help uh, i have all the scripts uh, what i used here in the on uh, posted on my website i will put the link in the description so you can play with them thanks very much for watching this video and i will see you guys uh, in next video